Okay, I got a school logo here. Okay, I want to engrave this on using CNC power. It's a JPEG. Actually, I have some files here that somebody gave me. An EPS file, a scale, scalable vector graph, SVG, but I, some of these I tried to upload. This one here is, is no good. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, I think this DX file is no good either. Okay, I also had some other ones like State of Florida Outline. But I'm going to try the Inkscape method here. So I'm going to open. Should I try to open it? Open a JPEG file. I'm going to try uh, which one of these is images. I'm going to try this one right here. Oh. Um, not sure what to do with this. Hit OK. Oh, ended up over here. And following the video, John Saunders' video, you're supposed to go trace the bitmap. Trace the bitmap. This thing comes up. Trace bitmap. I'm trying to learn this. You hit update, I think. You hit OK. Give it a minute. It almost like you can't tell that it's done. Unless you go in here and if you click on it, it is a copy and it's done. So maybe it's working right now. Because I saw this change. Give it a minute. We think there'd be something on here telling me it's doing its thing. Okay, uh, so it made a copy. Good. I just had to hit OK. Alright. And I'm going to bail out of this. So there's a copy here. And I was watching John Saunders. The, the copy that I was able to pull off is the one you want to save. I'm going to unzoom this. Oop. All right. Well, that's good. And I think you delete this one here. And then... Save as, we'll try SVG. I'm going to put different name on the back. Sample, hit save. Now we go into Fusion. Insert SVG. Find it. Sample. Mm, I don't know, that's only got 20. Open, select a plane. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, okay. So, and it's got lines on here. That I guess they like sketch lines. So. so we can use these to drive paths. So I could use this to use for trace. We just try this for a second. Finish sketch, right? I'm gonna save this uh, save. Uh, STC logo. Oop. For sample. Save. Uh, I'll go right to manufacture. Uh, set up. Uh, hit OK. 
Okay, that's, I want to just use this for sampling. 2D trace. Select that little engraving tool. Engrave. Select. Geometry. Ooh. Uh, can I window select this? No. That one. That one. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm going to leave it at that for now, just for testing. Heights. My old 3000 step minus point zero zero three. Okay. And. Oh, I think I had my setup kind of weird here. Edit. Setup. Yeah, it's in the middle. Uh, offset. Dark. Top offset. We want to make that zero. Okay. Generate. And simulate. Oh, that's the material. Close. Set up. Edit. Milling. Top offset. Let's do fixed size blocks. It has no thickness. We want. Uh, you have five minutes left of computer time. Sorry about that. Offset from top Z, uh, zero, okay, regenerate, generate, simulate, we just flute, oh no, shaft only, hit play, yeah. We have to use a smaller tool, but it'll follow the lines anyway. Good. All right, so logos from a JPEG. Using trace and going down the center. Now, I have done it before where I use this as a boundary and you engrave. I mean, you actually pocket them the inside. That's a, that's another method. But the going down the, the lines is probably the easiest and fastest. Okay, I'll talk to you.